it is I, Erin. And I've been watching a lot of really awesome uh, videos from Maddie McHugh because now she is doing videos for icing stores. And if people don't know, I am an icing store manager. And I love her. And I wish that I had the same setup as her and all that stuff, but I don't. Um, anyway, but she was inspiring me to do a new makeup video. So I thought I would do that today. And yay, I can marry my fiance anywhere I want. Um, but we're still going to New York, so there you go, um, in case anybody cares. Um, so I've started doing my makeup a little bit differently since I've been learning a lot. Um, so I'm using a few of the same products and some new products. So I just thought I would show you um, kind of the, the beginning idea of a look that I'm going to do for my wedding. Um, and our colors are white, silver, and emerald. So I have a really pretty emerald color that I'm going to try out and see how it looks. So yeah, let's get spotty. Okay, first the eyes have to come off so that we can do this. So this is the Mary Kay um, CC Cream in Very Light. Uh, now that it's summertime and I'm a little bit tan again, um, this yellow undertoned foundation works pretty well. The other foundation that I'm in love with is something that was recommended to me by Stephanie Lang. And she uses the Chanel Velvet Finish Mascara, not mascara, um, <laughs> foundation. And so I really like that for my pink tone days. Um, also, it's very expensive, so when I'm not, <laughs> I'll probably use it for my wedding. Uh, but when I'm doing like everyday makeup and my like boss is not coming to visit me or whatever, I use my CC cream instead. Plus, it has sunscreen in it, which is nice. So I'm just using a stippling brush from Icing um, to pat this and kind of blend it onto my face. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. Pretty good. Um, I think I want a little bit more coverage on my forehead, on my nose, and on my, under my nose and on my chin. Just because those places are so sweaty and so pink all the times. So we'll do that. Looks good. Okay, stippling brush done. Then we're going to use our Mary Kay, of course, um, Ivory One Fou Mineral Foundation. That's what I like to set my makeup with. So I'll use a little bit of this top and around the edges. Down the neck because I like to do that. Okay. Um, now there's a new step that I like to do. So if you notice I didn't powder my under eye, that's because I'm going to do this new step. Um, so for this, I'm going to use my Sephora Smoothing and Highlighter Concealer Duo thing. Comes with a built-in brush, which is really nice. Um, and you just twist it up to get the product like that. Okay, if I go like this. You can see me. Oh, cool. Um, so with that, you're just going to draw an upside down triangle uh, under your eye. Like that. Cool, cool. Okay, so it should kind of look like, like that, and then you're just going to pat it out. want a little extra help, you can use your powder to set that in place. Yeah, looks pretty, pretty damn good. Okay, I'm going to do that on the other side as well. Twist up a little bit more. So how's life guys? Like, uh, I'm good. Just working real hard at work. Getting ready for the wedding. We're going to send out our invitations today, which is very exciting. It's kind of crazy to say that I'm sending out wedding invitations. It's even crazier that the wedding is like two months from now. It's in September, which is very exciting and also weird and also a little bit scary. But I think that I can, I can take it. I'm a big girl. Okay, cool. So that's my blank face. 
uh, mint contour, I like to use my beige one, Mary Kay uh, Mineral Foundation, just because I found I find that using contour powders, they're always too dark, um, and I don't have any matte brown shadows, although I do like to use a matte brown shadow sometimes to do my contour, because um, they usually come in a softer kind of tone as well, which is nice. And just doing our cheekbones and our little bits of the forehead under the chin. Blend that out with my powder brush. All the brushes I'm using today are from icing. The brushes are definitely one of my favorite icing products. Uh, I'm also going to use some of their eyeshadows. Not all of their eyeshadows, but some of them. Cool? Cool. Right. Let's see how I did. <laughs> Not fun. I just do my makeup like I'm blind all the time. Hey, that's pretty good. See what else has been going on. My dog's still a hoe. She got into some fly paper yesterday. So we have like roaches in our apartment, which is so disgusting. And we really shouldn't because we didn't even cook for like two months and the kitchen was spotless and they sprayed and the bugs never stopped coming. Like, what are they eating? What are they eating? Nothing? Because we were on like a pre made diet, so we just microwaved our food and stuff. So, what were they eating? Okay, blush from icing. It's a very light, um, sort of peachy, corally color. Um, this just went to clearance. Oh god, I told you my dog is still an asshole. Um, this just went to clearance, so you can probably still get it. It's, I think, $3 right now at icing, so go. Oh. This is a Claire's brush. I should get this one as an icing brush, because the icing brush is a little bit higher quality, but um, so there's my bronzer, I know, blush, that thing. I'm going to use an HD foundation brush for my highlight. I just feel like it pops on really nice. And we have these new slide up free spirit and other trio palettes. I'm going to use this light color here, which is shimmery, to do my highlight slash illumination right up top there. Cool. Oh, cool. Looking pretty, looking snazzy. Okay, and then we just kind of buff that out really lightly. I'm like, I'm barely touching my face, but just so it's all connected. My dog wants to play fetch as per usual, but she doesn't know how to do it, so it's really annoying. Okay, so that's the face. There's more we could do, but I think that's pretty good for a light, natural look. Um, so I always like to do my eyebrows next. Barely there, mini palette from icing. And we're going to use our, where is it, angle brush from icing as well. This is the bamboo brush. I use the bamboo and the expert brushes interchangeably. I think originally they were slightly different quality, but ever since the bamboo brushes got this gold, uh, whatever that is, connecty piece, they seem to work. They seem to feel almost identical, so... If you love the environment, use the bamboo brushes. If you want black and white brushes, use the expert brushes. <laughs> there you go. Uh, my parents just put hardwood bamboo flooring in their new house. And it looks really pretty. And I was like, yeah, and it's great for the environment. They're like, yeah, and it's cheap. And I was like, oh, okay. If that's why you're getting it, that's fine too. I'll take what I can get. Okay, eyebrows are on. Alright, let's see what we can do here. So, this is my favorite brush from Icing. This is the Expert Highlighter Concealer Brush. Okay, so first we're going to start by using our Nautical by Nature Mini Palette. This is an amazing highlight color on it. I love this color right here. It's so pretty. So we're going to put that all over our lid and up to our eyebrows.
You know, people with eyebrow rings should really just, like, do videos about how to put eyeshadow on over your eyebrow ring or whatever, like, how to do it. Because it's not the easiest thing that I've ever done. Okay, so then I've got my base of my eyeshadow on. Check that. Just a light shimmery shade. Okay. Um, I'm going to still use this colors because I like them a lot. I'm going to use this gray tone brown now, and I'm going to pack that onto my lid. This kind of has a satin finish. It's not a shimmer, which is good for weddings. That's what I've been told. So that's what we'll do. Get that over the whole lid. <laughs> Making funny faces. Uh, yeah. What else can I tell you guys about? Um, Grace is still at work, and it's like Sunday at 8 p.m., which is kind of absurd. Uh, she has some really wicked deadlines right now that I'm not happy about. But we do what we have to do, right? So there is that color on there. Very pretty. My glasses do like this purple thing to save my eyes from all sorts of stuff, so. Okay. I think it's time for <laughs> my lime crime. Fantasy palette in China doll. Okay, so ooh, and this video looks really blue. Uh, but this is a really pretty emerald green, so I'm gonna put that in the center of my on the center of my eyelids. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And it just it's stinking bright, like I can't even deal with how bright it is. I'm just gonna concentrate it right in the center of the lid. I'm not too worried about how pretty or like how perfect it is because we're gonna put some more browns on here to blend it with you make sure it goes right up to the eyelashes. Okay. I'm gonna do it on the other side. I'm just doing it creased to eyelashes. It's like a pretty good pretty good way to do it, I think. Just try not to make faces while you're doing your makeup and just fail at it over and over again. And then you're like, damn it. I failed over and over again at this. Okay. So we need to get some dark brown for this palette again. Uh, and that's going to be my crease color. And I'm going to blend that into the green. Need to get some matte browns definitely for the wedding official wedding makeup okay so that's just on the outside Starting from the inside uh, part of where the green is, and just drag that out to the outside of the eye. Okay. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. And then I'm going to use this Nautical by Nature mini palette one more time. I'm going to clean up the brush on a piece of cardboard, because that's how we do it here. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit more of this gray color and blend the green into the darker brown. You can see it's really sharp still on the inside corners. So we're going to take our crease brush and our highlight shade one more time. That's that light, light color. And we're going to pack that into the inside and blend it right into the green. Oh yeah. And up into the bricks. 
Okay, so let's see how I did. It's really hard to see the green, isn't it? But it's super bright, I don't know. It has to just be the lighting. It's very bright. <laughs> um, but it looks blue on the screen. All right, let's see if we can just add some more. If that'll just show up, you never know. watch this video and be like, you can't even see the eye shuttle, which is really depressing. Um, okay. Let's see, probably this is there. Let's do a little extra highlight up closer, more up close and personal like that. Okay. Um, awesome. So, I don't, I think I'm gonna do eyeliner. Um, for this I'm going to use my Chanel liquid felt tipped, felt tipped eyeliner. I hope that you could see me do that. Um, and I'm just doing the top. I'm not going to wing it or anything. Oh, a wing might be nice. I'm just afraid in pictures that if the wings are not perfectly even, I will look at them for the rest of my life and say those wings are not even even. And it will drive me insane, so. I'll go back, just do the top. I love being blind. Blind is just one of my favorite things. Okay, so I got my eyeliner on. Let's see how that works. I'm also trying to decide if I want to wear false lashes, so you guys should tell me if I should wear false lashes or not. Um, okay, so that's that. You can see the green now. Okay, good. Well, it's like popping out against the brownie black color. Okay. So that's kind of the idea of what I'm going for for the eyes. Let me put on some mascara, I guess that might help. Okay, so Mary Kay Lash Love Mascara, because I love it. I do want to get Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara for the wedding, though. Lash Love is great if you just want thin, dark, like, individual lashes. But if you want more voluminous mascara, you need to get the Ultimate Mascara. That's my, my more volumey. Volumey is definitely a word. Okay. Can you see my latches? Oh, hey, did you guys know that icing has real diamond earrings now for ear piercings? And you could just buy them as earrings also. And so the earrings by themselves are just $91 and they're 0.1 of a carat and they're 14 carat white gold posts. So they're really nice. Oh, gorgeous. Okay. Mm, perfect. Okay. Um, so I guess I need some lips on, right? So I'm gonna use my Nectar um, NYX lip liner. This is literally one of my favorite colors. It pairs well with so, so many different colors of lipstick. It really can alter 
the way they look. They stay on longer. It looks good by itself, like if you just put a gloss on top of it. Um, but I'm sure you guys know my favorite combination is Nectar and Coquette from Lime Crime. I just think that's going to be a perfect nude lipstick for a wedding. It's very nude, very sheer, um, natural looking. It looks good on me and Grace, which is awesome. So I don't have to bring twice as much makeup because um, I'm doing her makeup as well. Anyway, um, I almost feel like I should do more of a contour. What do you guys think? Is a natural contour like this good or should I do more? Should I bring in a little, um, like a darker, a darker under cheekbone color? <coughs> difference I can't even I mean you can see it now obviously it's like a line like a chiseled line we could do something like that we could do like a little teensy bit a little here a slightly darker color we could do something like that then I feel like I need to bronze my forehead more if I do my cheeks though like that so if that's the case how will I do it? Just some more bronze one. Now I'm just experimenting on, on camera, guys, so. Deal with it. My head wraps from icing. They gave us these for free for our patriotic Americana look. I like it when they give us free stuff. But you know what? I are, Actually, I bought this already, so. Even though they gave it to us for free, I have already owned it, so it kind of sucks. I'm not doing, should I do a pinker lip? What do you guys think? Well, my eyebrows need to be, obviously, need to be done. Um, I haven't plucked them, so they won't be so thick. But are they too dark? What do you guys think? I don't know. Tell me all your, all your thoughts about this. I think the eyeshadow combo is pretty good. Um, like I said, I want to get some matte browns instead of shimmery browns. And a slightly more voluminous mascara. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing for me and Grace for our wedding. Super simple. We're not having a makeup artist. We don't have money for that. I'm a makeup artist. No, I'm not. Um, but I think it'll look pretty. Anyway, tell me what you think. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Okay. Bye. Yeah.